this virtual instrument. Uh, it's a hybrid uh, wavetable synthesizer. It means that it uses a combination of morphing oscillators to create sounds. And it includes four oscillators, actually. Oscillator A, B, C, and D. And you have a ton, a ton of control to shape the sounds and to create your own textures with different... Uh, the, yeah, with the four different oscillators. So, for instance, let's start here at the top. Uh, first of all, you have a lot of amazing presets here. A lot of them, as you can see here. All right, and you can uh, switch between them with this uh, with these arrows. You have here the overall volume, the universal volume and output of the plugin. Tune down or up, right? Double click and it resets uh, to default and also, uh, you have three types of uh, modes here, monophonic, polyphonic, or uh, polyphonic 4 and polyphonic 16, right? And uh, also legato, or you can disable it like that. So here at the left, you have the four oscillators, right? Oscillator A, B, C, and D. And you have all of these controls for the oscillators, spread, detune, gain, panning, uh, and more. If you understand more about synths, you're gonna know more uh, what these uh, controls are about. And here you have the the shape of the waveform, right? And you select it here at the right. So for instance, here, this is, I believe, the... Um, yeah, that's the one. Then we change to the sine wave, right? A, a natural sine wave. And then this. And the, ch the sounds change uh, quite dramatically, of course, if you are familiar a bit with the waveforms. Let's take a listen. Right. Triangle. All right, and you can add... Uh, Another, like, textures with the second oscillator, for instance, here. Let's choose uh, the sine wave. Right, and you can combine them here. And also you can shape the waveform like this. Uh, let's check it out. And this is just uh, messing with one sound. You have tons and tons of control, right? So uh, besides the four oscillators, you have a sampler as well that you can turn on and turn off. You have a noise generator as well. And also another cool part is here in the, uh, yeah, like in the center of the plugin, you have these sections, right? You have this uh, like waveform editor. Then you have the filters, right? And you can choose here like low pass filters, high pass filters, band pass, notches, and stuff like that. And also you have uh, here the envelope, right? For the sounds. The attack. Attack, decay, sustain, and release, right? The usual stuff. The matrix. Uh, this one I didn't mess around a lot with it, but also cool effects right so let's for instance add some effects here chorus flanger comp filtering stereo delay reverb wave shaper right and you can turn them on and turn them off here and you can of course manipulate them here so pretty cool also the effects section also you have an arpeggiator which i love arpeggiators they inspired me a lot to create riffs and on guitar and stuff like that let's use it a bit here 
That's uh right, let's check out this. Oh, it's off. Yeah. Right. And finally, uh, the presets were were to find them and stuff because there is a folder that you download with presets as well uh, that are installed with the installer of the plugin itself. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's uh, go through some of the uh, presets that we have here uh, already ready for us. Uh, so this is the initial patch pretty much. Let's check out another one here. Right. Um. Cool. Tuning. A ton, a ton of amazing sounds here that will get you inspired. Right. And you have, of course, here the different um, sec uh, categories for the presets. So, for instance, keyboards. Do we have something here? Drum kits, uh, atmospheres.